So I want to hook up an exterior antenna for my little handheld trunk tracker Radio Shack radio here. I like to listen to the local fire department. The way it is now, I can hear the, the 911 call, I can hear the local fire department respond, turn the siren off. But I can't hear the trucks in the field too good because all I have for an antenna is this mag mount uh, vehicle antenna. So I went and picked up this discone antenna from Radio Shack, 79 bucks. These are stainless steel rods. They are hollow. Comes with a bag of nuts and screws, a couple of U-bolts, mounting brackets to mount this little stubby antenna mount to a mast. And my mast is just simply one 10-foot section of fence top rail from the home center. And the mount I made is just using some scrap metal out of my bucket right there. I banged together and welded up a bracket to use as a mount. So this is all made of steel. And this will go on the wall like that. And then up the wall a little ways will be this bracket. Then this U-bolt will go on this bracket. I made up this adapter here to have some way to mount my mast to this section. And I just, I got an eye bolt. And that. together like that Drilled this hole through here. And that will snug that up. I'll be able to set the end of that fence rail in there. That fence rail can go right in here. And that's how that's going to go together. And I can still adjust it a little bit and get my brackets all in the right spot, get it all perfectly plumb. And I can tighten these down. I think that'll work great. Put this bolt through there. And Total cost, $10. I'm going to use RG6 cable because that's what I have already from doing some cable TV installation. And I got a solder on UHF connector to put at the bottom of the disco antenna and a uh, F connector to BNC adapter at the other end to connect it to my radio. And I want to be able to connect to the back side of my chimney right there. And it'll be up in the air there, about maybe six foot above the top of that chimney. And I need to do that because I need to get it outside of my aluminum sided house. So that was not too complicated. I temporarily fastened the brackets to the mast, held the mast in place, used a level to make sure everything was perfectly plumb, marked the holes, and bolted it to the chimney. Now I can go inside and assemble the antenna onto the mast. Now this is just a Radio Shack cheap disco antenna and I've read some complaints about the quality of that antenna because these long poles here are hollow and they have a kind of a stamped on um, ferrule here with the thread and they break off. I can imagine how this bending back and forth in the wind and that hollow tube bending right there would would break off. But I'm going to put that up there and see what happens. I am going to use Loctite to assemble all the parts so it just doesn't fall out. On this end I used a UHF solder on connector and a piece of shrink tube to hold it together nice.
All right, I assembled this whip in there. I'm going to put nuts on all of the threads of the little rod. And I'm going to put some Loctite on them and put them in there, tighten them up with a little wrench. On hindsight, it might have been easier to do the uh, long ones first. All right, I'm going to fasten the cable on there a little bit with some wire ties. Okay, now I'm ready to carry this over uh, to the side of the house and up the ladder and stick it in place. It's going to be important to ground that mass and after I raise it up there and bolt everything together I'm going to attach this ground wire. I have this piece of service cable ground. This is what I have, that's what I'm going to use. Well, I just have to string some wires and hook back up my security system. What I do is I run my security cameras outside and I can hear my scanner and look at my cameras while I'm in the shop working. Just a little entertainment value, that's all. And for scanning, I have this uh, Radio Shack Pro 164 or GRE trunk tracker. I like that one. And I also have this older Yuptero right here. Uh, I like this. It uh, has no blocked frequencies and stuff, and it's it's fun to scan with too. Four six nine. I'm also advising the RP was under impression that they possibly waved the handgun out the window, but they're unsure at this time. Hi, Dave. I'm in route. Is the suspect vehicle at Walmart? Headed into the city, reporting parties. Gonna be on the grocery side inside the store at Walmart. We're gonna follow a report there. Yeah. 